Are you spending hours on tasks for your YouTube channel that AI could be doing for you better and faster? We are in a new era where top creators are leveraging the power of AI to scale their channels faster with less effort. And I've realized so many new creators want to be able to do this, but they just don't know how. So today I'm gonna pull back the curtain on my exact AI strategies that I use to grow on YouTube so that we can be working smarter and not harder. Are you ready? Let's dive in. What's up, it's Danny, your guide to authentic video. If you haven't yet, be sure to download my starting on YouTube cheat sheet. Now, the first way that I'm using AI to scale my YouTube channel this year is in getting AI's help writing titles. Now we all know, answer me this, do you write the script first or do you write the title first? Mm -hmm. We write the title first, okay? If you didn't know, you need to make sure you go and watch my SEO video after this. It's going to be so helpful in understanding the power of search engine optimized titles. But we can use AI to help us write really strong titles. So even if you don't have years of experience like other YouTubers, you can use AI that has all of the experience in its search engine. So one of my favorite things to do when I'm trying to generate strong title ideas is I will go onto Google and I will type up the topic I'm thinking of and I will see what are all of the top blog posts within that topic or that title idea. And I will just copy and paste that entire page and I'll throw it into ChatGPT. And I'll say, what do these titles have in common? Take what's working and write me a YouTube title based on this. And that's an amazing way to understand what's working and then craft a title based on what's working. Now, you're not gonna read the blog posts, you're not gonna watch any top videos, but you'll have a title and then from there, based off that title, then you write out your script of whatever it may be. We always make sure scripting, we make our own because that's what makes our channel extra unique and special and helps you build community. Now, honestly though, the way that I use AI the most when writing titles is this prompt. So I will have an idea and I will say, generate 10 high click through rate, click worthy YouTube titles that are attention grabbing, emotionally compelling and optimized for searchability. The video is about, insert the topic, titles should create curiosity, use power words and be formatted for maximum engagement. Let me tell you, if you start off writing your titles like this, they're gonna be good. And then from those 10, I've never actually taken like just a straight title from AI. I always then make it my own and we'll kind of weave things in that I think are working. Again, I've looked at what blog posts or what top videos are working and I craft it from that. Now, something also really cool is YouTube's inspiration tab for getting title ideas that also uses AI. So let me see if we can find it. So I don't know why, but not everybody has the inspiration tab yet, which come on YouTube, figure it out. But if you do have it, go into your YouTube studio and see right now if you have it and let me know if you do or you don't, because I will be very curious to see. But what you'll do is you'll click into your YouTube studio and then if you have it, when you go into the content section of your channel, you will see it under inspiration here. And what's super cool about this is it's going to brainstorm topic ideas for you. This is coming from YouTube, so you know it's right. And it will show what your audience interest is in that topic. So here we've got one from one of my clients, five must have backpacking gear upgrades for 2025, shows very high interest. Um, it gives a lot of different ideas. I don't know why it would even have up one with low interest, but you can see one with low interest there. Obviously we won't do that one, but let's click on this and then it will show you an idea. From there, it will give you different titles that you could work with. And so like back, this is the one that we started with. Um, oh no, this is different. Backpacking gear upgrades you need in 2025 must have, that's good. Five backpacking gear upgrades that will change your life in 2025. So these are all really good. I could hit show more. It'll give me a bunch of title ideas. So like, let's see if I could click on this one. And from there, I could describe how I want to change this title and update it. So that's cool. So you can like change a title with AI, but really neat. I would kind of more go though, based off of what it's saying would is working. And then it'll show an outline that you could potentially do and edit within the YouTube inspiration section, which I don't love this. I never recommend using an outline from someone else. Like you want the video to be your own. The titles are really cool. And then the thumbnail section, I'm just gonna get to that now. We're gonna talk more about thumbnails later, but if you scroll down, it will even give you recommendations for thumbnails that you could use. Like this is so cool. What, there's like a little potion there. What's that like? <laughs> Poison, <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Not all of them are gonna be that good, right? But I think this is supposed to be like showing difficulty and then a guy happy. I don't know, they're, they're pretty good. And so you could take that and you could download and you could use some of these and I could brainstorm and create thumbnails, so. 
I actually haven't done the brainstorming thumbnails and inspiration because it's so weird. My channel doesn't have this. I've been waiting for it to show up. So I've only been able to use it in clients channels, which I will do whenever I do their like end of the year, I'm sorry, end of the month reviews. I'll look at their inspirations, but that's so cool. Okay, well this is, these both depressed. So it's like not exactly what it is, but pretty cool that you can generate some ideas from within there. Inspiration tab, also a great place to be looking. Thanks YouTube. Well, not really because I don't have it on my channel. Again, let me know. Do you have that in your channel? The next favorite way that I love to be using AI in scaling my channel and clients' channels this year is in scripting. Now, what would you say is the most important part of your script? It's the hook, right? The first three seconds when you're scrolling through YouTube, they play for people. And so if you're not hooking them within those first couple of seconds where it's automatically playing, where people then, they just end up staying on the video. If you're not hooking them in, they're gonna keep scrolling by and YouTube's gonna stop recommending your video. So we need strong hooks. And this is something where I have found is one of the most hard things for clients. They'll have YouTube down, but just the hooks are so hard. And so that's why we can use AI to make it way easier. And I have a really great template for you. This is the best one. I've had a lot of different hook templates, but this one's my favorite one right now. It's write me a hook based on this formula. Outcome plus urgency plus relatable problem plus curiosity gap plus teaser value for a video titled blank. Now, if I were to do this, let's put in the title is, I'll do this video. That's the current title. Who knows if that's what it'll end up being because sometimes I tweak it a little bit and here it comes a great hook. Now you may read this and be like, huh, does this sound somewhat similar to the hook she started the video with? Probably because I'm using this formula because it works. So make it your own, put it in your own words, but use this as a starting point and you will not be disappointed. Now, once I finish with the hook, I don't actually have AI write any of my script. I will brainstorm an outline of my entire script. And then from there you can feed your script into AI. And I have a great AI prompt that you can use for this, where it says, look at this script and provide feedback to make it more compelling. It's gonna ask about, is the hook strong enough? Call to actions, clear, am I referencing other videos? Because we always wanna be doing that, right? We're creating bingeable content on YouTube, so you need to be referencing other videos within your video to keep people on your channel. Have I done that this video? Ah, uh, okay. Anyway, does the script showcase my personality? Because that's super important. Also check for pacing, retention strategies. You don't necessarily need this part, okay? It's just an added. And check if it's optimized for SEO and discoverability, okay? And so you'd say the goal of this video is blank and the target audience is blank. So I could pull this in and then I could put it into AI. And then I will take my script. And from there, YouTube will give me feedback on the script. Really cool that it's giving me loads of feedback. You can see here, it's still going. So if you're like, gosh, I need help growing my YouTube channel. AI can be your bestie. Or I can be because doors to MCA, the Magnetic Creator Academy, are opening back up this summer. Well, you'll learn all of these strategies and so much more in our course. Now, the next strategy in using AI to scale your channel faster and easier than ever has to do with editing. For me personally, I have an amazing editor and so she does my editing for me. But if you're like, that's just not a possibility for me, but editing takes so long, I need help. I would highly recommend that you use an AI editor like Descript. Descript is probably the best one I've seen on the market in terms of really working well. So their website says, if you can edit text, you can make a video. And so if you scroll down, you'll kind of see kind of what it looks like where you can delete certain parts of the video. It will automatically catch filler words and cut those out for you and cut the clip. It makes it way easier, I think, to edit if you're on a time crunch. But if you like to have much more specific editing where you're able to really make things your own, that would not be Descript and you would still probably want to use something like Final Cut Pro if you are an Apple user or Filmora if you are PC or even Apple, I think Filmora is one of the best editing softwares and you can use it on PC and Mac. The next way that I'm using AI to scale my YouTube channel faster is writing out descriptions. Now descriptions are so key in having your video show up in YouTube search and getting more views. Why? Because YouTube's going to look and say, what's this video about? And the more keywords and long tail search words that you have in the description, 
the more it will push it out for those specific search topics. Yes, saying it in the video is super important, but also having it in the description, I think is that much more important as well. If you have not watched, again, that video on SEO, please watch it because I go behind the scenes more on this. But essentially, if you're like, I don't care, I don't wanna do any of the things, just give me the easy way out, then you can use this description prompt, but please, 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 make it your own. Do not just copy and paste this in. You want to make sure that you add other search terms in that it potentially left out. You wanna make sure that it's in your own voice, which is very important. So here is the prompt. You can see it says, write an engaging keyword rich YouTube video description for a video titled blank. And then it gives some of the criteria, like seven sentences long, has a hook, explanation, all the things. And so you could read more of that Later, I won't read it all out to you, but I could add this in. Let's just see if I put this into here. So from here, it will write out a pretty solid description. I would get rid of the emojis and format it just a little bit differently, but overall, it's got some good long tail keywords. I would add in more even search terms into this, but it's just a great starting point. And again, it's gonna save you a lot of time. The next way that you should definitely be using AI to grow on YouTube faster this year is for your thumbnails. Now there's two ways that I use AI for my thumbnails. Let's start with the first one, which is less exciting. And that's just the text that goes on the thumbnail. People get this wrong all the time when they're starting out on YouTube, me included. If you go back to my old thumbnails, they're really awful, but I just leave them up there to you know, show you that you can definitely have a glow up on YouTube. But anyway, you should only have max like seven words of text on your thumbnail and it should be very enticing or spark some sort of curiosity or oh my gosh, I have to watch that, like what's that about? And so you don't wanna just repeat your title in the text on your thumbnail, you want it to be something that sparks even further curiosity beyond your title. So if you need ideas for that text, which honestly I often do, I will go in with this prompt. I will say, give me 10 short high click through rate thumbnail text ideas for my YouTube video titled, insert title. The text should be emotionally compelling, curiosity driven, or have shock value. Keep each under seven words and make sure they grab attention instantly. So if I were to put that in, I can get some good ideas for this video right now. So we'll see if I use them. Check out the thumbnail, see if I use any of these. AI equals more views, less work. That's pretty good. Stop doing this manually, use AI. AI cracked the YouTube algorithm. That's a good one. That's good. I would click on that. And when you read through these, ask yourself like, what would I click on? What stands out the most for you're like, oh, I would click on that. And then you can tweak them from there. Or if you really like one, I could say, I like number six, give me five more like this. And it can tweak it even more. Ooh, creators using air winning, here's why. That's really good. I would click on that. I'm already getting excited to create this thumbnail for this video. Oh, I love AI. It's so helpful. P.S. I do have a video that's super helpful that takes you step by step in how I create thumbnails in Canva. I will also link that in the cards. If you go into your analytics and you see that you have a click through rate of less than 4%, that means that your titles and your thumbnails are not good enough. And so you definitely need to be tweaking them. And these are things, these are ways you can use AI to boost your click through rate. But it's so important that you have a click through rate of at least 4%. If not, you really want to be actively working on improving these things because that's going to help your channel grow faster. And that's why in a lot of these prompts, I'm saying with a high click through rate in mind because that's what we're going for. Now, the second way that I use AI to help my thumbnails is in creating images. So you can use Adobe Firefly for this or Canva. So I am a Canva user. I'm gonna show you what I would do in Canva. Okay, so something that you can do when you go into Canva, you're going to you create a design and you could just type in YouTube thumbnail and that's gonna give you the right dimensions that you need. From there, you can pick from their templates, but you can also scroll down and what I have been really loving that you can use and that I need to be using more often is the magic media. So let's say behind me, I want to have like a boho looking office. So I could put boho and with magic media, I could put in what I want the image to be of and it will create that for me. And I could either pick image where it's gonna be like a real life image or a graphic where it's like a graphic. Okay, but you can see here, then it created an office for me and I could pick one of these that I like, like, oh, that's super cool. I like these. I also could scroll down and make it, 
I probably want them landscape so I could generate again then if I want them to be like the background of here. But I could even just make this big and boom, that's looking really good. Ooh, here's a landscape one I could pull in. That looks really nice and I've got an office. Then from here, maybe I want to go back and I want to do a, the more specific you can be, the better, but let's try it out. Mmm, interesting. You can see that there's like a coding computer. I might even want to do a graphic, but there's just like so many different things that you can do for this. Like I might not even want the office. I could just make this whole thing like my thumbnail background and then have me in there and text and upload a photo of myself for my branding. Obviously I would tweak this a lot more, but just to give you an example and then boom, I could add in text that AI helped me pick. So here's just like a basic thumbnail that I created using the AI text and graphic image that created for me. And of course I would tweak this a lot more, but it's a great base, especially if you're starting off, your thumbnails are gonna be way, way, way stronger than if you just started with a blank slate and no ideas. So I would highly recommend to use these prompts. It's going to be very beneficial for you. The next way that you can use AI to scale your YouTube channel this year is in repurposing. Now this is something that I don't personally do right now because if you know, I'm in a love hate relationship with YouTube shorts. Like if you look up YouTube tips, you'll see my shorts come up very high. And you look, if you look at my shorts analytics, my shorts get great views and they rank very high in SEO. I just find they don't always convert nearly as well to subscribers and community members and eventual customers as just regular long form videos. Why? Because long form videos, you can teach people more things and they can get to really feel like they know you. But if you're wanting to take your long form videos and repurpose them, I would highly recommend that you use Opus Clip. It's one of the best ones I've seen out there and it allows you to really easily take a long form video and put it into TikTok or YouTube Shorts optimize videos. So this is what it looks like on their website. You can see it just super user friendly. I have a client that does this for the long form videos that we make for her and it looks awesome. Now you have some AI tools and strategies in your toolbox to help you scale your channel faster than ever this year. Let me know what tip was most helpful for you, what you're gonna be doing. And I hope this was so helpful for you. Don't forget to download the starting on YouTube cheat sheet and I'll see you next video. Bye.